And I yelled, Alberto, snake. And you have never seen a person jump so high in your life. The real reason why my help loves me. So I had a kid who worked for me for probably seven, seven and a half years, and he was deathly afraid of snakes. Like, the thought of them, a picture, you name it, he was afraid of it, right? And if you live in Texas, you understand that most things here want to kill you, right? Bite you, sting you, poison you, whatever it may be, right? I mean, so you have to always kind of be aware. But Alberto, he was running with some kind of a weird sixth sense when it came to snakes. So, now I'm a little guy myself. Alberto was smaller than I am. And like I said, he, he, I can't stress to you how afraid of snakes he was. So, one day he was in the barn and he closed the stall door and apparently there was a big rat snake or king snake or something. I'm not sure what it was because he, he was talking too fast and I never got to see it. But he closed the stall door and apparently this snake fell from the stall door and landed on his shoulder and then fell down behind him. And I guess he took off like a rocket, right? So he is so amped up and excited and scared that he come running for me and he said, you know, snake, snake, snake. So I come to the barn and, he, and he's trying now. Alberto had been there for seven years and I said, you know, you learn English. And he told me, no, you learn Spanish. So we met in the middle and we just kind of had our own little language and neither of us learned the other's language. But <clears throat> he, so in, in his, his best English that he could do, he's trying to tell me about the snake and I got the gist of what it was and you know, it's on his shoulder and then he told me that it chased him down the barn alley. I don't know that it chased him down the barn alley for sure or if it was just the rubber from his tennis shoes as he peeled out going down the alley. But nonetheless, he was pretty sure the snake was going to kill him. So we go to maybe I think the next day, two days, something like that. We were unloading hay in the barn. And earlier that morning, I had been working on fixing and mending a hose, a garden hose, right? So I happened to put up a little probably three foot section or so of garden hose and I put it in the feed room in case we need to use it for uh, one of our water tanks or a trough or something like that. And we were unloading this hay and you know, it's summertime and Alberto's up at the top of the barn and you know, it's, it's pretty hot. He's been stacking hay and he was hot. So he wasn't really paying a whole lot of attention to what I was doing. He was just trying to do his job. And my wife happened to be with me that day and I said, hey, sneak over into the feed room. I put a little piece of garden hose in there and uh, she's like, what do you want to do with it? Now she didn't know the whole story with Alberto and the snake hitting him on the shoulder. So she just went and got it because she didn't know any different. So she gives me the piece of garden hose. Now Berto's up there humping hay and not paying attention. And I flip that piece of garden hose up there and hit it the ground and I yelled, Alberto snake. And you have never seen a person jump so high in your life. It was like a cartoon. He levitated for like three seconds with his feet just spinning in the air. And I mean, trying to get out of there. And when he finally landed and realized that it was the garden hose, if looks could kill, that would have been the end of Steve. So sometimes when I question why I have a hard time keeping employees, I have to think to myself that maybe they don't enjoy the fun quite as much as I do. Hope you enjoyed today's episode of Horse Stories on Global Horse Network. We'd like to thank this month's sponsor, Snafflebit Clothing Company, for all your horse and apparel needs. Visit them on the web at snafflebitclothingcompany.com. If you like what we're doing or you don't, make sure that you put it in the comments below because there's nothing I like better than to aggravate somebody like a sand burr under your saddle pad. Be sure to share our stuff on all the social media platforms because that's what all the cool kids are doing. Be sure to subscribe if you like what we're doing. If you want to be notified whenever we're posting new content and some kick stuff, click on the notification bell. 
If you like what we're doing, click the like button. If you hate what we're doing, click that bad boy twice because there's nothing that I enjoy more than a good hater. And as always, ride hard, be safe, and have fun.